Welcome back guys to another video today. We're gonna be showing you guys all the mods I did to this kayak and I didn't buy a single thing to trick out this kayak. Which is pretty sweet. So yeah, this is all cost free. Except some of like the wood and everything, but I had that stuff laying around so it was all cost free for me. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all this I did this kayak. By the way, I usually have a trolling motor rigged up right here and a battery right here, but I don't really feel like getting it out since all the snow just went away. So, yeah. Just went away. The ice is going. So, yeah, we're going to have this thing out probably in two weeks on the pond doing some bass fishing. So, yeah. But here's the Sun 12T. Been modded out, been tricked out. Most of it was homemade, actually, all of it was. But I got a couple of gadgets on here. I got a Garmin Striker 4. I do have to build a Scotty a, um, R mount for the transducer to go, but right now it's just kind of. It's, it's on there really, really good. I made a little bracket here out of wood. I got regular bolts guys, that's all you need. All you need is some regular bolts. I got wing nuts. And these are just regular headed bolts that you can loosen that wing nut and then slide right off and right back on and tighten the bolts. Yeah, there's the Garmin Striker, it's on there, it ain't going anywhere. I can turn it and everything. But here, let me get my seat. There it is. I can see structure, see the depth. When the fish, when the transducer in the water, um, yeah, this thing's awesome, little fish finder. But I had the ice bundle. Sorry for the wind, by the way. I had the ice bundle. So what I did, I just uncatched this little plate here and then bolted it onto my little piece of wood. So that thing is on there. I have a little hole, uh, hole right here, which all this extra cordage for the transducer is going to get shoved up in there and zip tied. And then I open my hatch here, and I got a little battery back there, as you can see right there. Just a little battery down there with my power to it. Shut that up. And that is a marine grade battery, so you, don't, so you don't need like a battery box or anything to keep it safe. You could literally dunk that battery in the water and it would still be fine. It would still be supplying you power perfectly good. So yeah, that's how I got my battery hooked up. That's just con connected to my um, fish finder right there. And yeah, I gotta do something with that transducer, get a little mount for it. But yeah, that is the Garmin Stricker mod that I did do it. Next thing is my self made rod holder that I built for this kayak. It's just on bolts like my other one. Rod slips right in and out. Right back in. I added that. Say you catch a fish and you just don't want your rod to be all over the boat, flopping all over. You could step on it and break it. Catch that fish, open that bale up, slip that rod right back in your rod holder, and you don't have to worry about your rod anymore. You can just worry about the fish. So that's why I built that little homemade rod holder. A little piece of PVC little piece of one by one then two bolts and a little piece of plywood mounting bracket for it so I need to make a homemade kayak thing and then you're gonna need your standard rails that usually come with fishing kayaks yeah. next thing I did in the storage hatch first I had a little GoPro mount here next thing I did open that up I got this little baby white boulder say you are on the water you don't want your pedals or Thing. Shove those things in there. Put a couple bungees in there. I used to carry soft plastics in there, but I'll show you guys my new soft plastic holder in a second. But yeah, this is just a little storage hatch in there. You could shovel even another battery here if you really wanted to. But yeah, a little storage container. Then I just got some 3M stuff and just put it on there. That thing has been sitting in there for like two years now. That 3M has not has not failed me. So yeah my little storage holder 
So what I do with my extra tackle and GoPro supplies, I just got these little bungees up here. These are just, just terminal, um, just top glasses that I usually don't use during the day and GoPro stuff in a waterproof case. So that's what I do with my extra tackle. Then my tackle that I do use a lot, a lot, I just got some stuff in here. I just got jigs, um, extra soft plastics, frogs, spinner baits, tap waters, chatter baits, just all kinds of stuff basically. And then all the late stuff. Oh, this is just like 30% of my hard baits. I got too much, too much hard baits. This thing, this box is loaded with um, jerk baits, flicker shad, swim baits. Um, crankbait, square bells, um, deep diver, um, rattle traps, just everything. This is this is like my best stuff though. So I got some Guga st Squad stuff in there, some Berkeley stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of this is from Mystery Tackle Box too. So yeah, but yeah, that's slide my storage right in this little hatch here, and it fits perfect. And then this little box, I actually figured out that that fits there perfectly. And then when I slide that one up there, it's not not, not going to go anywhere. And you could even shove another tackle box right there, which I should have put that one right there. But that's fine. So that's what I do with all my tackle and my GoPro stuff. Next thing I did is I didn't like my rods and these little rod holders back here. Because when I cast it, they would always get in the way. So what I did here... I just built these little this one's not even supposed to be a rod holder this is this was supposed to be a tackle box holder but it didn't work so I just stuck it right in there the rod fits perfectly in there to slide it in slide it out and then on this side oh, got this rod I got 3m put that baby on there it didn't go nowhere then I got a little strap Velcro strap, take it off, put that there, strap it back down, it's kind of hard, there you go, that thing is on there, and then over here on the seat, I got, I kind of got the same deal here, but the rod, this rod ain't going nowhere, it's a little bouncy, but pop that out, pop it back in, there you go, that's just a jig rod I got tied up there. Little St. Croix, but yeah. That is what I do with my rods, and I showed you guys the rod holder. So, yeah, that's what I do with all my rods. But when I'm going down the lake, like I was saying, I can just shove this thing in there and not worry about it. But I could put a net in there or something, a power pole. Next thing I want to talk about is my power pole. So this is my power pole. It is a piece of red brush. Add a little handle to it. I am so sorry for the wind, guys. It's kind of it's terrible. This is a seven foot piece. You can see there. What this does? Take one of your scuppers out. This thing slides through. That thing slides right through your scuppers. And it's the mud so you won't move. It's kind of like an anchor, but for a shallow anchor. So this is about seven foot. So this is a shallow anchor for mainly ponds. But a piece of red brush, that's all that is. I'm going to buy a $70 one, I can tell you that right there. It doesn't have to be straight either. As long as it fits through your scuffers and it's longer than five foot. That little piece of red brush will do it for you. Next thing I did is my seat mod for tackle. So this is just a box, a regular box. Got a roll duct tape. I just duct taped everything, even duct taped the bottom. Just so this thing was waterproof. And then I cut out a little thing in my milk carton down here so it slides right in and out. Slides in and right in and out pretty good. I like it. But yeah, this is a milk carton I'm sitting on. I just got some wood on it. Go check out my trolling motor videos. Um, 
if you want to see that one. So, yeah. so right now you guys are on my kayak mount, so I'm just gonna show you how I get this thing back in. Lift this up a little bit. Slides up. Slides right in. It's hard to do with one hand, but yeah. But this is the GoPro view you shot. You guys should be, or probably to get. I might move this. I might move this mount over or somewhere. I, I might even put a mount right there or right right here, so it shoots up a little better, so it's not so close to my seat. But yeah, this will be my camera mount angle probably. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get. Oh, the throw motor doesn't make the kayak hold.